Oh, ready to take contact. A shock dart primed and ready. Little bit of damage done. And Mazzino follows up with the kill, but he's not able to get out of there alive. Still trading from the grave with his nano swarm, thinning out the numbers of Zeta and making it almost impossible. Oh, definitely impossible for these players to follow up and make it through those smokes. Yeah, good luck, Makiba. It's going to be a little bit of a tough one for him to try and get through this. And Klaus is going to be there three series. Because because we've been... Well, yesterday I enjoyed Gambit doing so well, but maybe not the fashion in which it happened. Now this is looking like a clean sweep until the kill comes in from Laz. To actually come onto the board, and they've gone through with the early fault line. Try and do some damage, but so aggressive out of the side of crew. Yeah, trying to make use of those weaker weapons and doing a good job of it with that kill traded out to start with. But Zeta do manage to recover that man advantage. Nags getting all the way down there for a kill. The Bulldog, the Dash, yeah. Try and help his teammates make it through the choke point. But there's still going to be two guys in position. And Nags is delivering on the Bulldog. The ranged ADS. But as he falls, there's 12 seconds left. They need the plants. It's a 1v1. And it goes Cruz way. That will be the... But definitely... Takes a bit of the conversation away over on the Zeta side, but I, I wasn't expecting this to come through. Some of these shots, absolutely disgusting. But it's still not going to be the first run on the board. Considering what they can the clock, there's still plenty of choice there for Zeta. And they are starting to reposition towards the bottom of mid, moving around towards B. But now it nags finding that kill. Do they still deserving any further forward? I don't know if they're going to expect it to be this far forward, though. And actually, having that dash available just means he can get back out of there without any problems at all. Finally, Rita will put him down, but it leaves them in a position still with a man disadvantage. Yeah, and their positions are known. They know there's one splitting in through middle. Takage is trying to get something done, catch them on the rotates. But there's left. very few angles given away. Crew are playing a tight game right now as they peek on out the trades are there and they start to go Zeta's way with only a fraction of HP on each remaining player a 1v2 commences Dalzik has to do it all on the Astra stars to play with but he won't be deploying them just yet looking to take some duels he has injected his backside this could be a big problem as he creeps onto the site Raider can take the backstab and close out the first some of those closer angles, and in fact, they're just going to rolling thunder straight into the site. Uh, a bit more of an issue for some of the players caught back, but hey, they're just going to go pushing all the way through. Yeah, I mean, this is the ideal scenario, really, when you're on the pistols. They've already burned an open. What's happening here? Crew are coming in with four kills, as clean as you like. A blade storm in the hands of Nagsit that does the majority of the work, and Makibo's left alone. An easy double spray down, but he can't get any more. I'm sure there's a whole lot of possibility and potential for it there. Just a shame that, I mean, again, it really kicking the delegates, the fact that they uh, had invested into the, the Rolling Thunder versus that eco. Now, Raiders found the open. We talked about the B main control that Naxxon had found before, and he's taken down, but uh, okay. doing the heavy lifting on the side, he keeps on going, uh, and the spray is good to connect on Laz, even though they've given up the site, they have definitely not given up the round, crew hitting 7 to wipe up for a kill as he comes around the corner, there's the shot to Laz, the most impactful player for Zeta arguably so far, now out of the round, only one though, only one dealt with on that short push initially, Hunter's Fury comes in to help out, Dalzik is picking them up on site, and yet again, it feels like Zeta do a little bit of legwork and then run straight into a brick wall. That was wonderful. That they had everything set up and now only cross straight into Dalzik. They've got the bait of the turret and the peak from the Astra. It's a worry. You're going in for this double duelist. You need them to perform. They're going to try this once again with the dash through. He's been stunned by his own teammate's ability. He's been able to escape out of it. This is going catastrophically wrong for Zeta and what Kesnit is just battering them. Please excuse me. Oh! Right? Okay, Laz recovers and he's got Ooh. three! <laughs> what an incredible whiff these guys have put in. And it's not just down to new metas and all that sort of stuff. They just look oh. like a far better synergized team. Now we're having Zeta desperately trying to hold on to control. They have their whole team here. This could be a second round of the board for the Japanese side. And in fact, it looks like it could be. Takage has been silent all map long, but he steps up here for a big 3k. This could be a lifeline for the now defensive side, unless Klaus pulls something incredible out of his back pocket. Yeah, let's give it a second. Klaus is still 
standing, but thankfully, Raider is there. He needs to retake into sights, pushing off to B main, though now a little bit of trouble starts to brew for Mazzino, who gets taken down all too quickly. Takage in with another, and this buy round has not started out well for Crew on the attack. Oh, Raita though, maybe overextending a little bit. You're in a spot, a five on three. You don't need to give anything back at those sort of points. He'd even retrieved himself one of the rifles. And we're going to see the fault line tagging up Nags. But again, the re-aggression is starting to cause problems. And he almost looked like he was going to correct that. Thankfully, Zeta not going to land for Raida right off the bat, though. Crew really up in the pace here. Shock Dark Kill comes into play. Seekers deployed, interestingly enough. They know now there's two players on the site, but the ranged advantage sits heavily heavily in Zeta's favor, and they are just taking every single duel as far away as they can. Frenzies aren't really dangerous if you don't. Looking at the start of this round, we mentioned in the previous that yeah, Laz is for sure. The recon coming through, gonna be a little reveal. They already know that he's there, but they've spotted Takage too, and they've taken him down quite quickly. Oh no, this lurk from Dalzik, they're not even checking it. They're not, oh, they're not even looking. Oh man. When five players are still alive, crossing One mid, haven't given up the control with... Oh, that's a big mistake. A big mistake indeed. Now one that they've just paid a big prize for with crew now on map. And the map we expect to be in like a top four spot or even top six maybe. So it's going to be interesting. Laz, a very early pop. There's something he does quite regularly. And Takage, these are the plays again. Being a little bit more aggressive into mid. Him and Laz take this fight. But it's Nags in the first around the corner. What a clean flick to start it off. He's going down to the classic here. His teammate falling with a wall bang headshot. Makaba just about keeping this competitive with low HP on the other two crew players. It should be a nice, easy retake for the Japanese side. <laughs> wow! Okay! That it certainly was! <laughs> oh, he's so good. Gonna be the only point of contact. Now they cleared the side out at this point, or they're just about to. Mazzino dying on the cross. It's not gonna be the biggest loss, but that could have been the lockdown for the late stage. And almost a guaranteed round on the back of it. Rolling Thunder, ready to roll with. Crow popping that and knocking at least two of these players off their stun. And here comes the dash on the side. Nagzit not able to get anything done. In fact, it's a shorty to take him down. And very, very clean indeed from Zeta. They get in there with all for me, but they've just about managed to avoid the Hunter's Fury afterwards. Crew have got so much to play with here, and it's a lockdown that starts it off. The shock darts had already come in, so even though they can tickle it up with the second one, they can't really destroy it. And obviously, the Hunter's Fury getting used up uh, a couple of rounds ago means that it isn't there either. So it's a time delay. Crew are able to run that clock all the way down. The Blade Storm here for Naxxed, an effective shotgun at this close range angle. But he kind of needs to make a move. Now that these players are looking oh, to come out, the Zeno is dead. Oh my god, they're getting it done so quickly! It goes down to one play! and Klaus is dealt with as well! Using all of his breach utility, like stunning them up first with the full line, aftershock making that they can't escape, and if they do, they have to push into players. Small going. Now we're starting to look at crew and wondering if they can bring anything back from this, the spam. They'll do a little bit, but not really catch anything from it. Again, though, it's going to be this afterplant scenario. They've taken the site without many problems at all, but by the looks of it, Zeta are okay with that. Not going to be a connection for Mazzino there. He's had a really tough time when it comes to these mid fights. I wouldn't be surprised if he just backs off. In fact, goes straight out, takes down Takage. Crew just need the one round, and this could be it. The spike planted, and the man advantage is theirs. As the timer ticks away, Zeta are waiting out the utility, trying to use Raida to gain them a little bit of space to push into the site. The flash actually catches him, but he's able to drop down still. Dalzik eliminates him. Crow dealt with another falling Makiba and last. And on the attacking side, they just have so much when it comes to, like, smoke abilities. They can really, even in the early days of this map, people did attempt to try and use Viper. Yeah, we've seen it in the past, that's for damn sure. Let's see if it works out this time around. Zeta on the attack side, they've got their wall down on B, they're looking to crunch A, though. Mazzino up on top of the ice wall, comes out as the ammo runs low, but Crow is there to save the day and keep them with the man advantage, Delzik. Trouble now. The teammates in here to help. <laughs> Nades, boom bots, everything can be thrown on the other way. It looks like there's no such thing as a left click on this server. Everyone's right clicking those classics, and Crow is having a field day so far. 
Oh, do they expect Raider to be in this position? The rest of the team have gone sprinting over to the B site. They've locked off Heaven with a Sage War. They've got the slows to allow them to cross. But then there's this flank coming in from behind from Raider. In fact, there's even a second one coming through just later on. I don't see any way that the defenders get back into this round and that good of utility available to them to do. Now, in this round, at least, I expect Zeta to be incredibly aggressive. And somehow, Mitch, they've right play. Now, up close, Max is in trouble as well, taken oh. down by a Spectre. Well, I don't know what bullets they've loaded into these weapons, but they certainly don't do that kind of damage when I wield them. I don't know. When you've got when you've got the Nerf guns on the other side, you might be the, mm. the guy with the rifle, right? Just, True. Just, just shooting blanks the majority of the time. But for now, at least, it is just going to be oh. slaughter. Nice shot, though, from Mazzini. He might have just given them a chance in this round. He even comes back to get another reloading after every single bullets. shot. Didn't seem necessary, but clearly he feels he needs the extra bullets. Takaji. And he's fallen all the way back and not holding a nasty little side angle. Good shutdown by Bars. That means he won't be losing the weapon up behind. And now things are looking pretty clean. I mean, hard to really get anything done from Cruz's position at this stage. They can also use Laz as bait if they really want to. But then again, he's going to be the one to find the kill. And, well, one kill was a huge difference maker when it came down to Ascent and taking that B-Main control. And it looks like it'll be no different. Luckily, Takage has got a fair few kills already in this game. There is going to be a paint shell thrown through to try and counter. The back side spotting out. There's two, now three players in position to hold this one down. In fact, the operator just around the corner. Ten seconds left. The time is going to be the true enemy of Zeta on this one, but never mind, because they just get a flurry of frags to put fun. They're going to be challenging for the orb. In, in fact, they've even popped Seekers incredibly early on, but this is a bruise, Mitch. And look at that. Nags goes back out for the peak, taking down Raider. That's huge. But have they noticed that it's yet an a hit? Takage. Attacker J is able to grab open the kill, find the side, that spray down goes Mazzino's way, but he can't get out of there alive. That could have been huge. Crew setting up for the retake, but now the man disadvantage no longer in play for Zeta. The showstopper of Keznet is what I'm looking at, though. That could be the difference maker right now. They're grouped up and looking to come straight out of spawn. And the first player they'll take contact on is Varus, and that's exactly who they're trying to take down. The orbital strike comes in. He's low HP, but he survives the showstopper. The teammates can't push with him. What a play by Varus. And now things are looking doable. Takage not spotted up above. Quickly picks off one, and Nagzit is off to... Really audacious strategy, a fake that was definitely a little bit risky. Only fight onto Varus before the site is even challenged on and he wins it out now they just need to hold on but on the site in comes Raina and he's got the blade storm to play with a nice double opening Nagzit rallies in to help out his teammates rushing with an operator in hand trying to stop the plant he's dealing damage but no kill yet a four versus two but that viper's pit could be all that Zeta need to close this out Crow has to stay alive what a shot onto Nagzit an ambitious play dropping out of heaven with an operator in hand and now they'll group up and they'll even start to flank around on them this is gorgeous takage caught and it's all on the crow no snake fights to work with he has to do it with the weapon in hand and only one left but Messino just about connects the first round finally on the board for crew but that was damn close <laughs> all the round. He pulls all the way back. Kesnit does the same. Plays behind the smoke. They concede the control, but Seda are going to look to use that to their advantage, wanting to push all the way through, and the timing is glorious. Five Kesnit down, falls, eight. but Nagsen isn't letting it go that easily. A double kill, and as they try to flank him out through elbow, Klaus is still holding strong. The shot not Ooh. connecting. But it might not matter, because very quickly his teammates come through to help out, and it's the way out. He is really looking to take this fight, and he managed to get behind the box, so that flash didn't blind him. They thought mid was clear, and then he gets a free kill. And again, we're going to have to see that very early round ult used to res a player up, but they're ready for it this time. The nade going in for damage, and Nangzit delivering on the blade storm. The numbers remain even as crew. Oh. A little bit of a tough spot now. They hadn't spotted that Raiden went all the way through. And in fact, oh, they know where he is, but it doesn't matter. It's good for two. It's the battle of the Jets just going back and forth. And now they finally face off against each other. A pistol versus the knives. And Raider wins it with the... He needs to do so much, Mitch. 
Yeah, he really does. He's got the first. Timing is good to cross over to this side. He'll be tickled up on the way. A nice spray as Bars goes down, and it's a 1v2. There goes the Cosmic Divide. They have to push him down. And as they come out of heaven, this could be the ideal scenario for him to just pick them off. On the walk through, there it is, one and oh! two! Tells it, gets it done! A that? 4K and a huge clutch to keep crew! It's just sitting straight into a retake. They want to try and find the picks back in, and well, just a tiny gap is enough for Laz to fall. Yeah, that's the first down, the first of many, and a big deal to take those flashes out in the early round. Here comes the lockdown. They're forced out of position, no good trade out, but there's a second player here. Delzik, again, saving the day. That lockdown coming into effect. They have given up on trying to destroy it. Zeta falling all the way back. They're going to rely on Bars coming in on the flank. He just needs one kill, and Orbital Strike will be online. It's a two versus two. Now, Bars, the solo man, but he... Oh, no! He's taking the molly out to try and take the fight he won. They are used to playing at inter international lands. They've been here before. And they're coming into a position where if they lose this, they've got another map to rely on. Good opening by Dalzik, the operator, not quite landing. Nags it. Gonna have to help out his teammates because Dalzik is running right into the nade, but it doesn't matter. The entirety of Zeta is being dealt with in a matter of seconds and a showstopper to close out the half. I'm already. Yep, at this point, and it can really start to weigh on your mentality. Kesnit in there with the opening. Good flash, but nothing oh. found for Laz by the turret, but. It's actually going to be his teammate, the Fool's boss is gone. Jay's playing with fire, they know there's at least two players there. Crow, onto Mazzino, just runs right out of the window. Gorgeous stuff. That's an opportunity for Zeta, but they need to deal with these close players. The blind goes in, the kill is there, okay. and Takashi was watching watching for the run out. We're down into a man advantage for Zeta. The wall being broken, good kill, and Kesnit needs to clutch this one out. 100 HP, but three opponents, and it was so close with 20. You can do versus it as you come around this corner. The first is his, the second very nearly is. Mazzino left on 14 HP. He'll be hunted down, and Takage passes judgment. And it's not good news for the side of crew. Showstopper pop, but it's not finding anybody. Eventually. Far. Seen Kesnit with some big plays, but as we said, this map has not seen a good performance out of this Killjoy on the crew side. And they now guns. is the time that he can make this happen. Weapons in hand as Zeta look to move out of heaven. They're just, oh, they're slowing it down. They're waiting for the flash. Nice, smokes are down. Now they isolate the angle. Snake bites in. That should force them out of position. And so Kesnit wants to try and make a little bit of a play. They've spotted both players now. There's the information. It's coming at a heavy cost, but they managed to trade out. Laz. Deal with Viper at the moment. I, again, it was something that I think Sean highlighted at the beginning of this map. If they're going to win, it's because of Viper. And I, I can see it at the moment. And push them back out of this site. Laz is actually just going to fight off the back of it. But to get into the corner is going to be difficult. And I think he might just get detained. So he's going to be stuck in the mud. Yeah, they're hunting him down. Oh, they don't want to go too far in case there's a teammate close by to trade them as they go on through. A wise choice. But in this instance, they would have actually walked away with a kill. No doubt a disappointment over on their side, but the spike is planted. Orbital Locked Strike down. ready for Bars, and he's going to queue that up right after the smoke. Backside is going to be pushed out into the open. Delzik falls right away. Klaus getting one of his kills, one of his first kills with a turret, but it might not matter. Nags it's dealt with on the backside, and despite what was a good start. Gun, I absolutely despise. We'll see if it's going to work out for him once again. Tachin. He's just not been missing. Here comes the judge. Of course it's going to work. And now it's left all onto one man. But he did do it before. Well, yeah, he made the 1v4 clutch over in the previous half. But this is a bit more of a difficult task. Not rushing into the site, and he's now being spotted. They're starting to descend on these positions, rally up. Takashi kind of looking to take this fight on his own. But he wins it out. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm with you 100% on that one. I suppose that means I'm with Sean too. Alongside Takajay leading that charge. Takajay the first to find the opening. Healing himself up to that beautiful 150. But Delzik comes in with a big right click. Solo defender now in the back of sight. Will fall quite quickly. Luckily he's got teammates rallying in to help him. A big play needed. Some headshot. Watching them walk on out. Oh, are you going to have a fall? Oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, 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 oh
Fury, but they do kind of trade evenly. It's Mazino left on such low HP. They want to really do the damage and bridge the gap. Ray to the first man in, and no one else is really ready to go in with him. That was, it's him out of the TP and around towards his teammates. Of course, the man has his spike, has the spike for the team of Zeta, and they're looking at the moment towards the B side, but there's a little bit of a stack here from Crew. Oh! Ooh. Okay, Takage is ready to go. Left. One of the rifles in hand. They're actually going to swing right onto him. Okay, Klaus. He's feeling a little bit confident in that one. A bit of risk taken himself, but he is finding every single this? kill. It was mentioned by you in the last map. He had a bit of a quieter one, but he is feeling it here. And well, the last two camps. Yeah, I think it's, I think it, I think it's the flash. The leer and oh, he's no. He's oh, straight into no. the box, hasn't he, Tom? Well, that is not exactly what was intended, but he has managed oh, to get the So, yeah. Yeah, well then well. They've lost the Empress. Takaje is going to be taken down very early on in this fight. Laz is just sat there like, let me in. Let me in. Stuck behind the wall. Nice shot from Crow. We'll keep this one even, at least for a little bit. And they have to be careful on the other side. This duel's so important. It means they can finally take that extra little bit of control. There we go. Seekers are going to be popped. Pursuing the players, trying to find out exactly where they are! And Dalsic delivers a double! It's all down to Makiba! One versus, or sorry, Makiba and Laz! Laz has been lurking yet again! What a surprise! He's taken down and Makiba has the 1v3 that we had teed up for him. He'll at least get the spike planted. It's very difficult to get much more than that when there's three players on the other side, especially when it's Klaus and Kesnitz on the other side. Yeah, he's got the nade as well to try and clear him out of position, even though the first shot has landed. It really doesn't matter too much. Don't mind taking a fight. Maybe they've accidentally went through the TP. I'm not entirely sure. Klaus has gone down on the B side, and now there's an opening. The whole team comes along as Laz opens it up even further. The Seekers clearing out towards the spawn. They know they've got the time to get this plant in, and the round has flipped on its head so quickly. Knights even go goes down to 20 HP on the TP. Yeah, two players have gone through that teleport now from the <laughs> defensive side, and it hasn't exactly gone fantastically. He could, think, res. he could have rezzed inside the yeah. team. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those rounds where I almost, re I think they realize that there's very little hope. This crossfire should be all too easy for them to find this kill, and Makiba will do just that. And while Kesner, he managed to get quite far in, but at this point he doesn't stand a chance. Laz is lurk again. You Even if they don't kill that guy, he knows if I res this player, he will die oh instantly. My God. He's just gone straight through. <laughs> <laughs> I just run in. Body blocked him. That's oh, actually no. unbelievably unlucky. Because he, he's on the edge of the smoke, so he can't even see him to try and right-click him to death. And he's just bumping into him. I think the tiger him. stunned him as well, so that he couldn't run away. Like, the so tiger unlucky. stunned the defender. And they've also... Oh, they're going to res! So they're going to res! They're going to res inside What's the happening? aftershock! They rezzed in an aftershock while a push came through. The flash was so well-timed, and Zeta just completely overrun them. This is a disaster, Tom. Crew in a two versus four showstopper. It might be what they need. Part of the initial play, Klaus needs a strong hold. He's been spotted and taken down. At this point, what do you even do if you're Kesnet? Drop a nade in there. Why not? Free utility. See if he can deal some damage. In fact, he does, yeah. And he stops the spike being planted in a moment. But without finding, like, a triple kill out of that, he's just... And that also did absolutely nothing. So, crew have used up the majority of their ultimates. And there are just too many gaps being put out there by the defensive side. And too much overcommitment. But we see the same from Zeta. And it's like, Raida is the number one victim of that. This time, he gets shut down. But his teammates are here running into the site. And they're not even expecting it. They're like, oh, Raida ran in yeah he's probably alone because that's how it's been oh, so far running Takage gets wrecked on the fade back Nax is repositioned look he's even as a teammate with him one dead oh, Laz is just doing so much work here the spike has actually gone through the teleporter but it may not matter too much the remaining two players are already fully committed to the site and Laz they're gonna try and peek him together they one man now the full rotation coming through Crow at least has a full belt of utility to play with <laughs> Crow has a flash to play with here. Let's see if he's going to be able to get anything done. No, he's not. The headshot delivered, and Kesnitz still... A lot of steps. I mean, they know that he hasn't jumped out. They're trying to boost. <gasps> that was an ambitious attempt. Utility committed for who could control, but it's just not working out, and it's a little bit too late. The pull out in the open, but he manages to get away with knife out. Ten seconds left. Zeta need to up the pace. Laz in with a double, but on the back side, Kesnet is still able to drop a player. Time. Has he got enough time? It's going to be damn close. 
I mean, he just about does. Oh, no, no, no he, he doesn't. doesn't. I thought that was the plant. Oh, God. I, I saw it. They say, oh, by the looks of it, they're not stopping. Oh, the Rolling Thunders pushed Mazzino out of position. He was boosted up on top at the start of the round. The boom bots killed Raider. He dashed into it on the site. A double. Takage. The left corner is clear as he moves on out. The steps are heard. Crew stacked up on site. The spray comes close, but it goes Crew's way every single time. Laz alone in a 1v5 with 10 seconds left and no spike. I mean, do we need to keep on looking at the things that are going against him here? Fake faking, now lurking out, trying to get them to push forward. Well, it hasn't worked, whatever it was. That's an expensive start to the round. And yet again, Zeta find themselves in a 3v5 with a minute on the clock. Hey, it looks like... Some of these ults are just being popped almost instantly, maybe in an attempt for a small amount of information, but the value just seems lost. Nice work from Raider, though. His peek into the site. They've also got the grab world to deny anybody holding them that little bit further. So an afterplant looking likely, and what was looking like a done round now actually falls into the favor of Zeta. Well, that is one hell of a start. Oh no, running on site, Nags takes three. How does, how's he gotten a double kill from there? The res comes into play and the spray, Makiba not able to get it done. Crew, Wiper leaving two. No way Mazzino, okay, left. yeah, he's just playing back on site. So it's gonna be a two man hold oh, on B. Yeah. The Seekers give away the fact that the players are here. And Zeta, they don't push off the back of that. They don't make their move. They delay it. They allow the rotates to come back in. Are they still going to push this? Surely they're going to TP over to A. Now that this, no, they've been not got time. They have to go straight into the stack. Laz, oh, and oh. Raina deliver the blows. There's another for the jet of Raina. They should be able to get this one done, right? Right? Yeah. Yes. yes. They go. Realizing that taking these fights would be suicide and Takashi okay. gets spotted out. Big play by Klaus, realizing, hey guys, we got this site way too easily. Something's going on. He goes back and checks behind, and that's the opening kill for the side. But will he expect the second player? Because he's, he's taken down the first, they jump spot it. That's brilliant. Having the right idea and even trading out Rata one for one, that's absolutely fine because that was the plan for the round. Zeta are now stuck in the mud. They've got to try and get themselves back in with avenues that definitely aren't favorable. Nags tries to get the right click out. Oh, the flash doesn't catch Mazzino. He's good for one, pursuing down further. Laz on low HP doesn't really stand a chance now, and he'll be taken down quickly. Ape could be the map already, waving goodbye, fading into the distance. Makiba, he's taken so much damage from that nade, man. He stood way too close for comfort. They've TP'd. Laz is able to take down Nags, but this is where trouble starts to brew. The pinch out of the teleporter, and what a shot by Takashi. He, I don't even know he meant to get that second kill. He thought he was dismissed out. Mazzino, though, keeps it competitive. A 1v2, then sure, he loses. Very, very slow yeah, round. Going. Look at this. They're just taking the pace down on the cruise corner. And they're still holding on. Tucked away. That's so nasty. He flash onto the the site. And that hasn't caught anyone. But they've spotted exactly where Raida is. And... Being as they do it themselves over on crew, they know that this is most likely a judge. They've dealt with him on the dash out. Plant is now secured. Everything is going. Doesn't want to save here. Rather get the money or oh. potentially a weapon. Oh. Oh. Maybe oh. even a key. Under this map in particular, it's so impactful. The fact that you can... Oh. Oh, straight away, we're going to see a very oh. aggressive oh. start, but Takage oh. not quite gone to plan. He's going to go straight down and already... It seems his teammates might do the work. Did not check the corner though. Crow is going to come up with three, looking for the last kill. Player in front of him, just a classic in hand. This is an awkward battle. And Delzik, his site, and going to go in for this plant, leaving it nice and open. He's no. Oh no! Raider, the wall had faded. Raider's on site, and it's an easy right click, easy kill, an easy round back site. And now they look to take the fight. You have a cosmic divide in play. This will allow them to put. This man hasn't got a dash, and he's running through walls. He got what he's got. He's got his comeuppance, that's for sure. Taken down as Crew end up in a 2v2. Crow on low HP, but a rolling thunder is there, Tom. And with Takage on the other Back side, again. they're going to just dash out. He's going to use it to deny the plant. Just going to put it all the way through, but it doesn't even deny it. And he dies while he has it out. It's all gone wrong. It's up to Takage to try and keep them in this round, and they won't be able to. Didn't use the rolling thunder in the first place, and then he did at the worst pop. But closer to Seekers. 
The fact is, though, the attackers are already looking to make the play. The stun comes through, but Klaus, he's having a game. He's having a solid performance here as he finds the opener once again, and Crow will play no part in this round. Vipers pit online for Mazzino. If they get onto a site, the round is basically done. And with the man advantage that they already have and the weaponry disadvantage in play for Zeta, there's a lot to be desired here on the defensive side. In fact, Seekers are even going to be brought up here. Klaus popping them and confirming the location of these players. This is going to get very dangerous with Raida falling right away. In goes Takage, but nothing to be found. This could be the end for the Japanese side of Zeta in the opening game. They could be going down to the lower bracket, and by the looks of it, Tom, they will. Makiba needs a one versus five clutch. Last time, he died to a Molotov. Let's hope this time around,